Many small churches feel they can't afford a renovation of their space under typical construction methods. Today, we're going to hear from Ron Eden, pastor of Anthony Christian Church, on his tips for investing and managing a sanctuary renovation. Welcome to Full Circle, the 360 approach to space design and engaging environments. I'm Ryan Cowan, Vice President of Client Development at Paragon 360. And I'm Rich Nelms, Regional Client Representative here at Paragon 360. We are so pleased to have Ron Eden with us today. Ron is the pastor of Anthony Christian Church in Anthony, Kansas. Thanks for joining us today, Ron. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, we believe that you have a lot to offer other churches that have a similar profile to yours. We've recently done a uh, sanctuary renovation together, but let's start back at the very beginning. What's your background? How long have you been pastoring? How long have you been at Anthony Christian? I went to Bible college just down the road, Joppa, Missouri at Ozark Christian College. Been in ministry for 30 years now. Most of that time spent in Oklahoma. The last five years I've been the senior pastor, work with two other pastors and our staff there in Anthony, Kansas at an independent Christian church. So wow, 30 years in ministry, that's great. So Ron, tell us a little bit about Anthony Christian and the community of Anthony, Kansas. We're a small town, 2,500 people, south central Kansas, uh, about an hour southwest of Wichita, Kansas. We're an independent Christian church. Being a small town, we're able to be used in the community for all types of purposes. The community will use us for birthdays, parties, anniversaries, family get-togethers, uh, business meetings, weddings, funerals. So Anthony Christian really is a cornerstone of the community. So what challenges uh, were you facing that led you to a sanctuary renovation? Our building was built in 1998 and looked like 1965 when they built it. Really, the basic thing of all this was we need to freshen it up, make it look a little bit uh, more updated. So when you started exploring a sanctuary renovation, what process did you use? We really wanted to make as many phone calls, do as much research as we could, go see other churches, talk to other churches, find out what our, all of our opportunities and different options were out there. So based on your experience from this whole process, what's the one thing that you would recommend a, a small church does when they're thinking about doing a sanctuary renovation? We had no idea where to start, who to talk to, or what those options were. What we realized was that there is the possibility of being able to do a project like this that's not gonna shut your facility down for weeks or months at a time, that you could do this project for under $100,000. We just wanna let those other churches know that that's an option for them. Well, we're gonna dive into how it was possible to renovate your sanctuary for under $100,000. But first, let's talk about how you chose a partner. What was your evaluation criteria? We wanted to find somebody that would work with us in cooperation. We realized this was not a project we wanted to do ourselves. We talked with some contractors, see what they thought. They realized this wasn't something that they could do at that time, at that cost. We wanted someone that this is what they specialized in and work with them. Right, so I think determining the evaluation criteria is important for all churches to consider uh, as, they, as they find the right partner. Uh, once you decided on Paragon 360, uh, how did you determine the scope of the project in relation to the financial investment? Rich, there's lots of other things that need to be done in our auditorium, but we realized that the very first thing that we needed to do was to update and freshen our stage area. Matter of fact, that's what we called this, was the refreshening. If we do that first, and it is successful, and it is a win, then there will be no problems coming right back to where we know we want to come for the other projects afterward. So you decided to start with the stage renovation. So let's talk about what you were able to accomplish within your budget. Because it's all fabricated here in Springfield, brought over, it's done in our building less than a week. One Sunday, our building looked like 1955, and the next Sunday, they walk in and it's all updated. We have a cross, we were thinking that we were gonna to have to build ourselves. Asked Paragon, can you do this? All those different things that we asked, they were able to do and do it 
for less than what we were thinking we could do it for. Yeah, Ron, let's, let's talk about the funding for this project. What process and procedure did you have to go through to get all of that worked out? We did contact our local bank, visit with them about different options that we had. But fortunately, because this cost is so much lower than any other route we would have taken, we were able to use some of the money that we had already saved, individuals, families. We took up a special offering one Sunday. That helped it. We are going to have this paid off in about six months from now, which means from the time we started this project, until it's paid off is 18 months. And for a church our size, there's no way we could have done that if we'd have gone any other route than this. So Ron, can you share a little bit about what a church should expect uh, a renovation process to be like? We had you, Rich, come over, visit with us, sit down with our leadership team, and say, here's some different options. You went home, a couple of weeks later, we were getting renderings from Paragon showing here's some different options, but it wasn't just here's how it has to be. When a small church is looking at going into a, a venture like this, are we gonna have somebody teaming up with us that's gonna work with us, that can do all of this at their place, come over, get this done in five days, less than five days for us, come in, respect our staff, respect our facility, respect our community. That's what small churches need to try and find. So once the renovation was complete, uh, what was the reaction from the congregation? You ever updated and freshened up your own house? You know, put on a fresh coat of paint and put some new carpet down, maybe redo the kitchen or the bathroom, and, and you love going in and, and seeing what it looks like, and you love the, the new smell. This is our church home. And people had the same response to that. Our church has 10 to 12 other towns that are a part of our church family. So it doesn't just affect Anthony, it affects surrounding communities as well. That's pretty powerful. But Ron, let me ask you, is there anything that you wish you'd done differently? When you look at the entire product itself, there is nothing that I would do differently. And I know that might sound like I'm just doing a commercial, that's not the case. If you know me personally, you know I don't impress easily. There's gonna be something that I'm gonna find and gripe about and be negative about, not on this. There's not one thing after they left, they were only there from Sunday to Thursday, Thursday afternoon when they left, until now, there is nothing that I would change about the product that was taken care of at Anthony Christian Church. Well, Ron, thank you so much for joining us today. You've shared a lot of valuable insights and we're very grateful for your time. And thank you for watching today. Sign up for Full Circle at Paragon360.com or subscribe on YouTube.